Hey, welcome to Unity Byte Size Tutorial with me, Romy Fauzi. In this video, let's create a typewriting effects very simple using Dotwin. And if you haven't tried Dotwin, I really recommend you to try it. And in fact, TerraDev has a very nice introduction video. I'm going to put the link top here, on the top right. So let's start. So I have a game here. It has a dialogue system. And when I try to talk to the NPC, the text shows right away. So we want to change this into a typewriting effect. So here in the script, this is the dialogue manager. You don't need to know everything regarding this dialogue manager. I'm going just to show you one method here where we are showing the text. And basically this is the text mesh pro that are changing text based on the dialogue that we are passing. So in order to create a typewriting effect using dot twin, first we need to import the dot twin namespace using dg dot twinning. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a private twin variable and let's just call this type writer twin. Okay, so now inside this display dialog, first we need to create an empty string. I'm going to call this text and this is going to be the string that, that we are going to twin to create the typewriting effect. And then we can set up the twin here and then we can pass the dot twin twinning so basically we need to access the dot twin class here and we are going to use the generic way which requires a getter setter and the end value and durations and this is very powerful we can animate anything any type of object here using the two function actually we can animate the text mesh pro right away using the shortcut way of the dot twin but unfortunately for text mesh pro it requires dotwin pro so i'm going to show you how to create this using the generic way so basically the two here if we open the dotwin documentation here it requires a getter setter the two value and the durations and the getter and setter is using a delegate here uh, it's very easy actually i'm going to show you the example two is the end value that we want to reach duration is the duration for the twin here so now for the getter let's set up a delegate using lambda here and we want to get the text variable here we want to access this text variable and for the setter we can set up a parameter or argument here and then we can set the text string variable into this x value and the third one is going to be the n value which is the dialog that we want to show so i'm going to get the dialog here from the dialog data and you can pass any string actually here and for the duration we can set a float value but since the dialog is going to be different I'm going to use the dialog length and I'm going to divide this with the type writer type speed here and this type speed I already declared here and I set its value to 15 you can set this to anything and this will adjust based on the text length. So it will it will have a constant speed with different lengths of messages. Okay, and we want to chain this do twin using the onUpdate method. And onUpdate method asks for a callback here. So we can just use the lambda for delegates here. And then we can use the, this curly bracket so we can Put the code inside this uh, delegates here for the on update and basically on update will be called every frame as long as the twin is running so we can update our text inside this on update here so instead of setting the text here i'm going to cut this code here paste this here and let's set this text to this text variable where we are animating it okay so now we are done with the script Let's go back to Unity and let's test this out. So now if I try to talk to this NPC here, you see that we have a typewriting effect. So yeah, that's work. And as you can see, it's very easy to create a typewriting effect. So there you go on how to create typewriter effect using Dotwin. Check this out if you want to learn a full course on creating game from start to finish. If you want to learn how to create a game from scratch to a complete game, check out my online Unity courses. I've published a couple of courses covering best practices in game development with topics ranging from programming to visual tuning 
desktop to a mobile platform, object-oriented programming, and many other useful tips. With the price of a takeaway, you'll get lifetime access to the course. Link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like it, hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget to also hit that notification bell so you will get notified once new video is uploaded.